What's up, guys? It is Jay Beebs here, and welcome to a, another episode of the Youth Academy Road to Glory with Newport County. This is the fifth episode. It's also the first episode of the second season, so if you want to see what happened to us in season one, in the description is the playlist link for everything. Go ahead, check that out. But otherwise, let's get right into this. So in the preseason, we will be facing, we are going to be participating in the European International Cup. We're facing two Danish and a Norwegian side. I feel very confident that we will be able to do well, at least. So our very first scout, the four-star, five-star, recently acquired, is going to Mexico for three months to get us some technically gifted players. Our next four-star, four-star scout is going to Canada for three months to get us some wingers. And our final scout will be heading to my home country, the United States, for three months to get us some physically strong players. So Robbie Wilmot, who is he was out on loan the entirety of last season, he's been sold to SK and St. Paulson for two hundred eighty thousand pounds. Tristan Abra Abrahams has been sold to Spanish side Real Oviedo for one point four million pounds. I was thinking about maybe using him, but we've got guys in the youth academy I would prefer to use, and obviously this is a youth academy road to glory. Dom Telford will also be departing the club. He's going to Romanian side CFR 1907 Cluj for just for exactly one million, actually. So that means we got in two players that I probably wouldn't end up using got like two little over two million in transfer budget. But we now have a huge game in League One, our first game in League One as manager. And we are traveling to Fratton Park to face Portsmouth. And this is the starting lineup. We're playing a 5-4-1 Diamond Narrow. Townsend is the keeper. Dolan, Farquhar, Sun, Dimitri, center backs, Shepard, Haynes, outs, wing backs, McDonald's the defensive mid, Labide, Sheehan, center mids, Gomez attacking mid, and Hansen is the striker. And here are the highlights from the game. The net is staring him in the face. Pass. This could level it. And it is the equalizer. Can they take the lead? Oh, that is a moment. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Oh, surely. So, yeah, tough loss. However, Portsmouth are one of the better teams in the division. Honestly, a little bit surprised they didn't go up. I think they have a very good team, very good young team as well, and they have a good amount of money. I don't think they should still be down here, but hopefully this is not a sign of things to come. So Alejandro Castro will also be joining the first team. He has to go up, probably just going to sell him. But if you also look in the top left corner, we do only have 21 players. So we do also need a lot of depth. But somehow we are in 8th place as we go ahead and take this next stop. Yeah, we're, we're 2 points off of promotion. or We're 2 points off of a playoff spot. We're 4 points off of automatic promotion. So I feel very good about where we are right now. Yeah, I mean honestly it's been a... Surprising start to the season. Did not expect things to go this well, especially with that opening day loss. But, I mean, I guess you can't judge what's going to happen in an entire season off of one game. And thankfully, that's going to be the case. But this episode is just about over. Again, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, like the video. In the description will be a link to this Road to Glory and another Road to Glory I've done. Nothing else left to say except... Thanks for watching, and it is Jay Beebs signing off.